Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Isaiah 12 verse 2. Once again, the grace of God has smiled on all of us. To those that are here today, we again welcome you. And we pray that again, that your time at the end will bring strength and encouragement and that you will say it was good to have been here today. Well, today we're not going to be in the book of Psalms, believe it or not, we're not. Um, we're going to be looking at a verse out of the book of Isaiah. Uh, we're going to be, again, continuing the study of the attributes, the characteristics of God. We want to spend some time getting to know uh, who our God is based upon what he has revealed to us about himself through his inspired word. And so today we're going to be looking at Isaiah 46 and verse 10. And again, we want you to be encouraged to know that God has always been God. He never changes. He has been good. He will always be good because that's the kind of God that we worship. Amen. Amen. The Bible says that laughter is good for the soul. And for many of you, you know that I enjoy telling uh, humor stories on Sunday when I'm able to present the Word of God. And I've decided I'm going to add a little bit more, spread out the humor. I'm going to spread out the medicine just a little bit more and include it in the Friday devotional nugget. Well, this particular a uh, story is about uh, a preacher who just began a new work in a city and he decided that he would go out and visit uh, the new town that he moved in and he wanted to get to know the people before he saw them on Sunday. So he came to one of the uh, citizens home, uh, one of the members of the congregation. He knocked on the door several times and no one answered so he finally took out one of his business cards and he wrote on the back of the card a bible verse he wrote revelations chapter 3 verse 20 and he left it on the door well that next day that sunday um when they were counting the offering uh, one of the gentleman who were counting the money found the card in the collection plate and he noticed it was the minister's business card and had some writing on the back of it so he took the card to the minister the minister looked on the back and of course he saw what he uh, had written uh, revelations chapter 3 verse 20 which reads i stand at the door and knock if any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and I will dine with him and he with me. Well, the member whose uh, house he was visiting and did not answer the door, found the card and decided to send the minister a message. So on the back of that card, he wrote 
Genesis chapter 3, verse 10. And the Bible reads, And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked. Now, if that went over your head, it's okay. Um, sometime later in the day, it'll click, and you'll have a nice laugh, and uh, hopefully it will be you will laugh, and there's no one else around. Well, we want to look at today um, the, the theme, again, that God never changes, as God is immutable. And that we can always count on God being God, um, whether it's in the old or the new, um, the beginning to the end, um, God is who he has always been. God's word. Changed? No. Has God changed? No. And of course we know the answer is no way. So what has changed? We've changed. We've taken our focus off the Lord, who does not change, and we placed it on ourselves and upon our culture and our society, which always seems to be in a state of change. Most of the change that has occurred has not been for the better in, in most cases. In the midst of all the change that is happening, the child of God can always count on one constant, and that is the fact that God does not change. In the midst of our crazy changing world, God does not change. And that's a great attribute of God. I can't imagine if God were constantly changing what kind of world this would be. God's personality is the same today as it was during the time of Abraham and Moses and David and all of the, the characters that we read about in the Bible. God remains the same. He is the same today as he was then, which means that he is our solid rock that we can lean on, that he will never leave nor forsake us. It would not be very, very wise, let me say, it. it would not be very wise to forget what I've just said. Because God, who makes promises to his children, always keeps them. God, who promised us eternal life, is immutable in that we may rest assured that nothing, no trouble, no hardship, no persecution, no famine, nor nakedness, nor danger, no sword shall separate us from the love of Christ. It is because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever that neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, not even powers, death, height, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. See, God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. As God has said, and will do not do. We find that in Numbers 23 and 19. He will not lie. He will do what he says he will do. He has no need to repent because he doesn't lie. And all of his promises and the covenants are true and sure. He doesn't change, so his character remains the same. God speaks and acts. He promises and fulfills. He is the creator and the source of all life. Who has delivered us from so great a death and who delivers us in whom we trust that he will still deliver us. Second Corinthians 1 verse 10. The same God who delivered Paul from prison can deliver you and I from whatever 
situation may present that we are somehow captured. God is our deliverer. He will bring salvation. You can always depend that God's love doesn't change. In Malachi 1 verse 2, he says, I have loved you, says the Lord. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, with loving kindness, I have drawn you. Jeremiah 31 and verse 3. But our problem is that sometimes we don't like God's tough love. That is a love that won't allow us to get away with doing whatever we want rather than what the Lord has for us in his word. And so much like a child that questions a parent's love for them when they don't get what they want. Many people question God's love for us. You can count on God's love will not change. You can always, always count on God's justice doesn't change. Now, people charge that God is not fair when it comes to justice. But there is no judge like God. The judge of all creation, of all the universe, will judge justly. God revealed that the final and ultimate justice will be delivered, will be melted out when Jesus returns. Both the evil and the good that we have done in this world will come before God and we will be judged accordingly to both the good and the bad we've done in this life and God will render his justice according to his standards and not ours God will have mercy on he on whom he chooses and God will also condemn because God never changes. Well, I hope that you will rest assured that the God that you worship is a God you can count on. God is not wishy-washy. He is not one way in Genesis and a totally different way in Revelations. He is a good God. From beginning to end, he is the Alpha and the Omega. He knows the beginning. He knows the middle and he knows the end. Be blessed. Put your trust in a God who never changes. Amen. Amen.
Something to think and pray about. Isaiah 46 verse 10. Forgive me, Father, for choosing my way over yours. Help me to walk in faith knowing that you are the all-knowing God. When my days are hard and I struggle to understand, please let your gentle Holy Spirit remind me that you see it all. You know the end from the beginning. There are so many things around me that are changing, but you, Almighty God, never change. Your wisdom stands throughout all that happens, for you are powerful and all-knowing. Thank you that in all your power, you are faithful and true. Help me, Lord, as I struggle with surrendering my will to your will and to your wisdom. I'm praying, Father, that I will say yes to your word because it wants to accomplish purpose in my life. I ask these things in Jesus' sweet name. Amen. Amen. God is an awesome God. He reigns from heaven above.